All right, welcome to another edition of Distance Teaching. Uh, I'm your host, Mrs. Hamer, and let's learn something today. All right, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for being flexible. Um, As we did yesterday, um, please feel free to pause the video whenever you need to. Today we'll be working with some tech tools, so if you need help, please, please, please ask. Raise your hand. There's no problem if you're having an issue. Uh, Let's troubleshoot and get it fixed. Um, and we'll go from there. So please don't be afraid to ask for help. I think that my sub is Mr. Dolker, which is awesome. Thank you so much for being here. And we're just gonna roll with the punches here. So let's see how today goes. Yay. Um, Okay, you're going to need your Chromebook today. And I'd also like you to make sure that you have that lovely handout from yesterday, uh, that assignment you were working on. So take a few minutes to grab those things. You're gonna log into your Chromebook If you don't have your network ID and password, please check with um, the teacher in the classroom with you right now. Um, They should have that information. Pause if needed to. If you all have your network ID and passwords, we're good to go. Uh, You're going to log into your Chromebook and locate Google Classroom. If you're not comfortable with that yet, When you open a new web browser, you should get located or or automatically directed to the Clever page. Maybe some of you are used to this. The Clever page is just kind of home base that our district set up for you guys. It's so you can have all of your apps in one place, basically. Pretty handy. Mine just taking forever to load since I'm also running video, but yours should pop up a little bit quicker. This is kind of nice. It should have like a little welcome back message, Foothill High School. And from this page, you're going to locate Google Classroom. Maybe you've already done that, probably have. And then you're going to get to my class. So I'm going to click on this little guy here. Google Classroom. You probably used it last year. If not, it's very user friendly, easy, easy to learn, easy to upload assignments. Sometimes it takes forever, just depends. <laughs> All right, and on the Google cl- uh, Classroom page, locate my uh, course. Um, I have you guys separated by periods too, so like first, third, and sixth. Yep, first, third, and sixth. I'm just gonna use first for reference. Uh, we'll do that. All right, and then there's tabs at the top. You should have a stream tab, classwork, people, and grades. Just a quick note, your grade here, I I don't calculate using Google Classroom, so that's not a tab you'll ever really need. Um, And then the stream page is kind of a catch-all news feed, so please avoid using the stream to access assignments. Um, I'd really like you to get in the habit of using Classwork. It's a lot cleaner, and I spend a lot of time making sure everything looks um, easy for you to navigate and also easy for you to organize. So try to stay on the Classwork tab, please. That should make things easier for both of us. And you'll see that uh, the class syllabus and a late work request form are at the top. There's a few more materials that I'll put up there that will always be at the top for you. But you should always be able to see the the current week here. Yesterday you worked on this intro letter brainstorming activity. Sometimes I like to post like an extra copy online just in case somebody loses it or is at home and needs a copy. But obviously you have that on paper, so you can ignore this resource. I definitely would not ask you to write a long introduction letter to yourself without me returning the favor. So here is my own. Please feel free to read that. Um, Actually, yeah, I would like you to read that um, before you begin your own today. Mine has like pictures and a few extra details. You do not have to, yours does not have to look like mine. It can look however you want it to, to reflect who you are. All right, so this is the assignment for today. Um, Please spend a few minutes looking over your notes, your brainstorming that you did yesterday. I want you to make some notes about what you for sure want to include in the letter. Maybe star or circle or highlight some ideas. And maybe even cross out some of the ones that you think, ah, I'm not really inspired to write about that, or eh, maybe I won't. Um, but start kind of organizing your ideas to, to compose this introductory letter to me. Here's the full assignment um, instructions. Click into those. Mm-hmm. 
Alrighty. The learning objective for this uh, letter is to, uh, there's two different ones. The first one is to set relevant and reflective goals. So somewhere in your um, letter to me, try to outline some of the goals you have for this year. Those can be personal, um, those can be academic, or both, or athletic, whatever that looks like for you. The second goal is to write within the conventions or style of a specific genre. A review on what the word genre means. So we're going to stick to a specific genre, the genre of a letter. Taking forever to load. Basically, a specific style of writing or a category of artistic composition, as in music or literature, characterized by similarities in form, style, or subject matter. A little review on a genre. So, you're going to stick to the conventions of a letter. I'm sure most of you have written a letter, but just if you need a little reminder, here's some, uh, here's a little handy graphic for you. I'm not sure why I can't view that right now. That's annoying to me. There we go. Okay, um, so it looks like some of the key components to a letter. Sender's info at the top. Obviously, you're not going to need your address because you're not ma uh, mailing this. Uh, the date, receiver's info, not needed again because you are not mailing, uh, mailing this. Um, it looks like you're generally going to have a greeting, so kind of like my sample. Um, the body of your, of your letter separated into however many paragraphs you think are necessary, um, usually by subject. And then a little closing and a signature. So kind of really three, like just a introduction slash greeting, a body of your letter, and then a closing. Um, almost similar to an academic um, essay, honestly. Again, mine is there for reference. Alrighty. So try to kind of stick to those convention uh, conventions and organization as you write. Um, one thing that I'd also like you to do as you type this out today is I'd like you to have a conversation um, once you have maybe like at least 75% of the letter written, um, have a conversation with someone around you that you feel comfortable with. Maybe somebody you paired up with yesterday for the hangman activity, and maybe you just get some feedback on the letter, ask them to read it over, uh, remind them of your name, ask them to read your letter, uh, ask for a, some quick feedback on what you wrote. Um, that's so you can get to know the people around you, but also so that you can kind of have some conversation about what you're writing and maybe get some good feedback for, for uh, from them um, and for them before you submit this. Um, no length requirement or limit to this. It's, it's just write it as long as it needs to be. Uh, you get to choose on that. And that's pretty much it. Um, hopefully that's kind of a nice and simple task. I really just want to know more about you and kind of tackle these learning objectives today. Um, and it is due tonight, so you should be watching this on Tuesday. Um, please submit this letter by uh, Tuesday night to Google Classroom, and then we'll have, uh, we'll jump into something different on Wednesday. All right, thank you so much. See you soon.